Alright guys, so this video is about how to get a, a cell phone in Japan with data with data and also a Japanese phone number without a any need for a contract. So step one, step one you have to get yourself a prepaid phone or an unlocked phone. And you can get this at any tech store at uh, in Japan or you can get it back in the States or wherever you're from. Just make sure it's either unlocked or SIM free. In Japan, they call unlocked phone SIM free, so it's pretty much the same thing. So yeah, that's step one. Next, you need to get yourself a SIM free card. For me, I, I got myself this card right here. It's a three... It's a... What is it? It's a two gigabyte card for... Uh, valid for three months. And I got this guy from Big Camera right here. This has a list of all of the stores, uh, store locations for Big Camera in Japan. And if you do plan to stay for, uh, if you do plan to use more than two gigabytes, it comes with a rechargeable card. Uh, where's the rechargeable card? Yeah, right here. So you just go to the convenience store and you can pay for extra data if you want. Uh, right now the prices are 1,100 yen for an extra 500 megabytes of data and 1.25 gigabytes for 2,200 yen. So yeah, if you want to get more data, you can always get more. Um, let's see, after you get yourself the data card, you also want to get yourself a number in Japan. So step three, go to Skype and get yourself a Japanese number through Skype. Right now, the prices for this are, uh, let's see, eight dollars and forty-one cents for a three-month subscription, and also twenty-three dollars and sixty cents for a twelve-month subscription. So yeah, that's what I do for a cell phone in Japan. That way, I don't have to deal with any two-year contracts or anything like that. And yeah, it seems to work pretty well. And if you're staying in Japan for less than three months, you can get a a, a prepaid SIM card for like one week or maybe one month <clears throat> there's a variety of different brands to choose from and then if you're staying in Japan for more than three months I would just suggest uh, you'd have to get a new sim card once every three months to uh, keep yourself going on the data that's what I do personally but yeah anyway that's it for today's video and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time Bye.